everyone. Dave Landry with DaveLandry.com. Given the developing market situation, I thought now would be a good time to give you an update on the markets. Today is Wednesday, September 23rd, 2015. Way back when the earth was cooling, when I was working on my MBA, I learned about something called permanent income hypothesis. And simply state, it's just simply stated, easy for me to say, that means that people have grown accustomed to a certain condition and think that that condition will continue forever. And I too was guilty of that back in the late 90s when the market only went up and it appeared to be a perpetual money making machine. Well, human nature never changes and obviously we had the bear market in 2000 and we had the bear market in 2008. But since 2008, from 2009 over the last six years, the market has mostly gone up. And I think people have really grown, grown accustomed to the market only going up. You must never forget that markets go up and markets go down. Now I know most of you are probably saying, duh, but you'd be surprised how many people only expect the market to go up. What has me concerned is we have multiple sell signals. Now before we get into that, keep in mind the market can do whatever it wants. However, you should not ignore these sell signals because all major tops will have a sell signal, but not every sell signal obviously will turn into a major top. My good friend Greg Morris in Investing with the Trend said, we treat all sell signals as if it's going to be the big one. And I think it's very important. So well said, Greg. It's very important that you look at these signals and pay attention to them. So let's look at some charts. First of all, let's take a look at the monthly S&P 500. Notice that on a net net basis, we hadn't made any progress in a long while. Also notice that we sold off very hard way back in October, but that was just a bit of a knockout move in perfect hindsight, and then the market continued higher from there, although it didn't really make much progress, again, on a net, net basis. Now the market has sold off to right around the area of its prior pullback. So if you're looking at the close of today, and you look back almost as much as a year, you can see we're actually lower than we were back then. So at the least, the market has certainly lost some momentum. Also of concern is the fact that we have a lot of overhead supply. There's nothing magical about my form of technical analysis. I just simply use charts to read the psychology of the market participants. And overhead supply is just an area where people have likely bought a market and will likely be looking to get out at break even. Notice on a daily S&P 500 that the market did rally up to that overhead supply and so far was rejected and has rolled back over. One thing that does have me concerned is we now have a weekly bow tie sell signal in S&P 500. The last two times this happened in the aforementioned 2000 and 2008 bear markets, the market dropped about 40 or 50 percent from those signals. Again, there's no guarantee that this is quote unquote the top as many people are asking me, but it's something that you should certainly pay attention to. That signal actually triggered, that setup actually triggered yesterday. That would be September 22nd, 2015. So it triggered on a one week bar. If it takes out multi week bars, let's say around 1900 or so in the S&P 500, I'd begin to get really concerned about that. And of course, we can't forget there's a death cross. Let's not get too excited about that. I think it's a little overhyped in the media, but like Greg said, you should treat all signals as if it's going to be the big one. Now, I wouldn't buy and sell every time you have a moving average crossover, but do pay attention to see if a trend develops. Go back and watch the last couple of Dave Landry's The Week in Charts, and you'll see in one of those I showed where the market could drop 40, 50, and sometimes even 80% after these sell signals. So it pays to pay attention when you do have these sell signals. Any questions, just shoot me an email at Dave. And Dave Landry.com, or for a lot more information, see my YouTube channel or see my website, DaveLandry.com. Thanks, everyone, and happy trading.